Stay tuned for just a second. We're gonna talk a little bit about DMT and how to make it within. I can feel the energy of everybody in here. One of the reasons I don't like to come, but you know, it can be very useful to, I guess, measure up your energy with other people's. Sometimes I sit there and I just wonder what people are going through and I start to feel them and then I start to pray for them to try to get my good energy to them. So it's always good as an empath to get out in social places, but first you have to isolate your energy before you come. Oh yeah. There's something so beautiful about the rain. It's cleansing, refreshing, renewing, and even though it just knocked over my tomato plants, it's healing. I just want to say I love you guys so much, and I really appreciate all the support that I've had over the past couple of years on the channel. So since you guys are always so good to me, I want to be good to you in return. And I want to tell you, the technique that I use, the DMT release technique that I use in Kachari Mudra, and I press all of that energy up into my brain and it releases this energetic stimulation and visions, I want you guys to know it. I want you guys to understand it. I want you guys to have access to that. So if you haven't already, go check out my DMT, uh, how to release DMT naturally through Kachari Mudra video. And then I'm going to show you again real quick what that is because the new viewers probably haven't seen it. So I want to talk to you about it just a bit. So the technique involves taking the tip of your tongue and reaching it backwards up into the nasal pharynx area, pressing the tongue up into what they call the samrita, which is the um, DMT drip that comes from the pineal gland. The pineal gland, or the third eye, has traditionally been viewed by Christians as something evil. However, if you go into the Bible and you take a look when Jacob wrestles with God in the place called pineal, what do you think that could mean? Is that somewhere he could have spoken to God and wrestled with him there in his own third eye in visions? I agree with that, yes. Unless you said no, then I disagree with you, and I still say yes. Anyway, so my technique is a bit different. I do it the proper way where you... Put the tongue back. However, my way involves pressing the tongue like this. But the back part, so this part here... When you do that, you shove it up in there. So what I do is I take a series of deep breaths, release it halfway, deep breath, release it halfway, deep breath, release it halfway. A lot like Wim Hof method, but I was doing this before I knew about Wim Hof. So it's been a couple years I've been doing this now. Um, so after you get your series of breaths in, do 30 breaths, three sets, and then you press the tongue. Really hard. Look at my eyes when I do it. Okay, um, I'll try to get them normal again for a second, but you can see where I, I start going and I kind of fade out from the body and it's an amazing experience. It's just like astral projection, but it's happening here. And you notice I don't need the breaths anymore. I've been doing this a long time. Anyway, check out the other video when you're in meditation and you want to go to far off places or to delve within yourself. This DMT technique is absolutely outstanding and something that should be added to your daily regimen or repertoire. I love you guys. Bye.